Hello everyone, Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution of problem 1.20 from Mechanical Vibration 6th edition by S.S. Rao. The problem is the same in 5th edition of the book. This problem is on page 122 of 6th edition and then page 93 of 5th edition. This problem is about finding equivalent spring stiffness. So figure 1.76 show a uniform rigid bar of mass M that is pivoted at point O and is connected by a spring of stiffness K and K2, K1 and K2. Considering a small angular displacement of the rigid bar at point O, determine the equivalent spring constant associated with the restoring force. So first we need to draw a free body diagram by giving uh, rod a small angular displacement either in clockwise direction or in anti-clockwise direction. So now the free body diagram of the system is like it is given a rotation theta in anti-clockwise direction clockwise direction sorry so that is the direction of rotation given or that is the direction of motion given. So now, when the spring is, uh, the rod is being compressed, uh, like when the rod is being um, rotated in clockwise direction, so it is going to compress that spring K2. So then that spring K2 will apply a restoring force in towards left direction, that is F2, and then when the rod is being rotated in clockwise direction so that spring is going to extend okay or uh, so or that spring is going to stretch and when it is going to stretch so it will apply a restoring force f1 again in towards left So now the gravity which is here, it is going to, is always going to act in the downward direction. That is mg. And then the forces that F2 is the force acting here, F2. And then F1 is the force which is acting at a distance L by 2 from the pivot. So that is f1 so now to solve this problem we have to find equivalent restoring moment or equivalent twisting moment so for that one we need to find the component of these forces f1 f2 and mg along the rod so now f2 so that is angle theta that is angle theta and that mg that angle is also theta so now if that angle is theta so then the component of f2 which is perpendicular to the rod so that will become f2 cosine theta here in this direction that is f1 cosine theta and for mg because it is making that angle theta so its component will be here and that will become mg sine theta okay so these are the forces which are uh, responsible for twisting moment and these are the components i have taken here perpendicular to the rod because it parallel components so they are passing through the pivot point so they are not going to contribute towards any moment so then assumption we have to take here the assumption is that angle theta is small in radian so sine theta is nearly equal to theta and cosine theta is nearly equal to 1 so now the force is these forces f2 the component which is f2 cosine theta cosine 
theta is nearly equal to 1 so that is f2 that one will become f1 and this one will become mg theta now the rule we will use here is equivalent restoring moment due to all components is equal to sum of all moments so now here while finding sum of all moments we have to use a condition that moments in the direction of rotation are positive and moments opposite to the direction of rotation are negative so now f1 and f2 so they are contributing for moments which are opposite to the direction of rotation so these two moments will be taken as negative and moment due to mg theta so that one will be in the direction of rotation so that will be taken as positive so now equivalent moment because it says that uh, here we are going to find equivalent spring stiffness with restoring moment so we will use that t or m that is equivalent twisting moment is equal to k t e k t equivalent or k t e or uh, okay so this k t is equivalent so k t theta so then moment due to mg sin theta is taken as positive and that is mg sin theta times by l by 2 and then for force f1 it is taken as negative because opposite to the direction of rotation so then ft so that is f1 times l by 4 and f2 times l by 4 so that f forces f is equal to kx and f1 will become be k1 x1 and f2 will be equal to k2 x2 and where these x1 and x2 are the displacements uh, in both of the springs now substituting f1 k1 x1 in the equation here and f2 k2 x2 in the equation here so then we'll have a new equation in terms of k and x now as we need to find uh, as we need to find the uh, the displacement translational displacement x1 and x2 in terms of theta so then we'll use here s is equal to r theta and using that s is equal to r theta x1 is l by 4 into theta and x2 is l by 4 and these displacements which are going to which are like they are in horizontal direction so now these values of the displacement x1 and x2 can be substituted after substituting the values of x1 and x2 so it will become k1 l by 4 theta and then l theta now in both sides theta is common so we can take that theta as common factor and then by taking theta as common factor and then cancelling on the both sides so kt equivalent is half mgl minus 1 over 16 k1 l squared or minus k2 l squared so that is equivalent spring stiffness with restoring moment in this question because uh, it was given that you have to find in terms of moment so then we have to convert that translational displacement x1 and x2 in terms of theta so thank you very much for watching